Welcome to Hascom Training. This module is an introduction to hazard communication and GHS. Chemicals are often needed to help make many of the products we use. Incidents and injuries are always possible with hazardous chemicals. But by knowing their safety requirements, you can greatly decrease the risks. This training will help you understand chemicals and how to find information about their hazards. It covers how to work safely by following the hazard communication standard. When you're done with this training, you'll be able to describe how the hazard communication standard keeps you safe from the dangers of hazardous chemicals, identify who is responsible for determining a chemical's hazards, and recognize common hazards of chemicals you may encounter. OSHA's hazard communication standard requires your employer to inform you of the chemicals used in your workplace. It's often referred to as the HAZCOM standard. They must share each chemical's hazards and how to protect yourself from those dangers. The HAZCOM standard exists to help prevent injuries and illnesses. OSHA says that employees have the right to know and understand the hazards of chemicals they're exposed to in the workplace. The chemical manufacturer or importer develops hazard information for each chemical. That information needs to be documented and shared with each company in person who handles that chemical. This includes suppliers, transporters, and everyone to the final end user. Your employer has requirements. They need to provide you with the information and training necessary for you to do your job safely. Your employer must create an inventory of all hazardous chemicals at the workplace. They need to ensure each chemical has a safety data sheet, or SDS, that's easily accessible to all workers who are exposed to a chemical. They also must ensure each chemical container is properly labeled with an approved label. Your employer is required to create and provide training for workers. And they'll need to develop and maintain a written HASCOM program that details plans for communicating chemical hazards and risks. The OSHA HASCOM standard is aligned with the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, otherwise known as GHS. GHS is a worldwide accepted system used for the classification and communication of hazards. OSHA adopted the GHS hazard definitions, container label elements, and SDS format. Welcome to HASCOM Training. This module is all about GHS safety data sheets. Chemicals are often needed to help make many of the products we use. Incidents and injuries are always possible with hazardous chemicals. But by knowing their safety requirements, you can greatly decrease the risks. This training will help you understand chemicals and how to find information about their hazards. It covers how to work safely by following a safety data sheet, or SDS. When you're done with this training, you'll be able to describe how the hazard communication standard keeps you safe from the dangers of hazardous chemicals. You'll also be able to explain what information can be found in each section of a chemical safety data sheet. By the end, you will be able to describe how safety data sheets can help you work safely with chemicals. OSHA's hazard communication standard requires your employer to inform you of the chemicals used in your workplace. It's often referred to as the HAZCOM standard. They must share each chemical's hazards and how to protect yourself from those dangers. The HAZCOM standard exists to help prevent injuries and illnesses. Your employer needs to provide you with the information and training necessary for you to do your job safely. The OSHA HAZCOM standard is aligned with the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, otherwise known as GHS. GHS is a worldwide accepted system used for the classification and communication of hazards. OSHA adopted the GHS hazard definitions, container label elements, and SDS format. Each SDS includes the hazard information developed by the chemical manufacturer or importer. SDSs are one of the most important tools to help ensure your safety. The SDS provides details to help you work safely with a specific chemical. This includes what it looks and smells like. The SDS also covers potential hazards and what to do in the event of an accident. Your understanding of the information provided on an SDS can mean the difference between being safe and being seriously injured or killed. Safety data sheets follow a standard 16-section format. 
Section 1 provides the product identifier. Section 1 helps you identify the product. It provides the product identifier, which must match the SDS. It includes the official name of the chemical, as well as any other names. It also shows the manufacturer, importer, or other responsible party information. That includes the name, address, phone number, and emergency contact information. You'll also find the recommended uses of the chemical and restrictions on its use here. Welcome to Hascom Training. This module is all about GHS container labels. Chemicals are often needed to help make many of the products we use every day. Incidents and injuries are always possible with hazardous chemicals. But by knowing their safety requirements, you can greatly decrease the risks. This training will help you understand container labels and how to use them to stay safe when working with chemicals. When you're done with this training, you'll be able to describe how the hazard communication standard keeps you safe from the dangers of hazardous chemicals, explain what information can be found on each chemical's container label, and describe how container labels can help you work safely with chemicals. OSHA's hazard communication standard requires your employer to inform you of the chemicals used in your workplace. It's often referred to as the HAZCOM standard. They must share each chemical's hazards and how to protect yourself from those dangers. The HAZCOM standard exists to help prevent injuries and illnesses. Your employer needs to provide you with the information and training necessary to do your job safely. The OSHA HAZCOM standard is aligned with the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, otherwise known as GHS. GHS is a worldwide accepted system used for the classification and communication of hazards. OSHA adopted the GHS hazard definitions, container label elements, and safety data sheet, or SDS format. Your safety depends on knowing how to identify and use the information listed on the label of each hazardous chemical. This will make you more confident in your ability to safely handle hazardous chemicals. Container labels are a quick guide to important information about the hazardous chemical. Fortunately, the HAZCOM standard requires all labels to include the same type of information. They must also be legible, written in English, and prominently displayed. Each label on a shipped container of a hazardous chemical must have six specific elements. The product identifier is the name or number used for the chemical. It can include an official name as well as any other names. The identifier used on the label must match the one found on the SDS. It also needs to match what is used in the workplace chemical inventory. The signal word tells you how dangerous the hazard is. There are two possible signal words. The danger signal word is used for more severe hazards and warning is used for less severe hazards. A hazard statement describes the nature of the chemical's hazards. It may also include how dangerous the hazard is. An example of a hazard statement you may see on a label is, fatal if inhaled. The hazard statement is specific to the chemical hazard classification category. This means you should always see the same hazard statement for the same hazard classification category. It does not matter what the chemical is or who produces it.